Uh, Dr. Munoz? Yes, I support it. Um, you know, if a, if a budget starts lukewarm by the time it's implemented, it's pretty cold. You know, we have a lot of cronyism in Rhode Island's history and it continues today. You know, I've been a proponent not just of acknowledging environmental racism, I know that there are platforms out here that like to talk about it, but also proposing that we have a, a tax that is placed on fossil fuel companies that pulls into a categorical fund and that the categorical fund can also supplement these programs. Because sustainability always becomes a question, right? Like, oh, it can't be sustainable, so let's not do it. So let's make it sustainable. Let's push these businesses out of the state if they want to go out and pull the ones that really want to support Rhode Islanders in. You know, this transition towards you know, net zero emissions is not going to happen just by getting the fossil fuel companies out, right? It's going to happen with housing. There's a lot of issues here. But the question is, is it just, when we talk about racial justice, the disproportionate amount of children of color that have asthma rates, that the Department of Health and right, another department in the state ultimately conducted a study in 2019 that showed higher levels of air pollutants, higher rates of, of asthma in Rhode Island. Is it just to create a tax that pulls into a categorical fund that supports families for utilities, for healthcare, for other needs? Yes, it is just. So the question is, what do we believe as a state? If it's all about management, where's the leadership? 